Hello everybody, it's Tracy coming at you with another video of another project I've been working on recently. This one is using the Graphic 45 Curtain Call Papers, which I love, love, love. Um, I'm having a run on um, TP Minis at the moment. <laughs> one, because they're, they're uh, pretty quick to complete and um, I get a finished result in very little time um, and at the moment because um, I'm not always able to craft due to um, the arthritis in my hands um, I can practically manage to get through one of these uh, within um, either a few hours on a bad day it might take me a day but hey anyway this one I'd like to share with you um, I painted um, the rolls once they were flattened in a cream that I try to match with the background in the papers. It's it's like a, an off cream and black. Um, it wasn't exact, but it was as near as so. Um, I was quite happy with how that came out. Um, again, I've used the D rings for binding. I much, much, much prefer them. And I've just added uh, ribbons, satin ribbons, um, some lace. Um, gosh, here we go again. I forget what this is called. <laughs> Never mind, it's no biggie. And some um, cream, thin uh, ribbon. I also made... Um, a dimple dangle for it. Um, and I've got one of these beautiful bulbs that I got from Fiona on the bottom. I've then put cream, black and white beads along it. And I've stuck on, um, as it curtain calls to me was like musical, I've stuck a musical note on there. Uh, Paris at night time for the moon. Um, I've got a piano on there. I think that's it. Oh, and a star. Then the front of the uh, mini, I I um, basically cut some of the paper that had the stamped look image and cut those out and put them on over the front of the ticket page. And then I uh, glossy accented, accented them so that they would um, stand out and they catch the light. Then I just put some little bits of bling here and there. Um, I then used my favourite flowers, which are wild orchid craft flowers. Um, just put a little grouping of three each in the opposite corners. Add some uh, marabou feathers. And that was it really for the front. Um, again, I've gone with a tie, a ribbon tie. So what I did was I made some little satin bows and I hot glued those down with the ribbon. I've kept to the black and cream theme, if, if and where possible. Um, this is a border that I had that I cut down and used basically um, and then put uh, a little square rounded edged card in there so that could either be a journaling or a photo mount or you could just pop a photo in there really and take this out they all have um, tags in them which again um, I've decorated the edges with um, some sort of border and I've put some satin ribbon through um, and each one of those pages has one of those in it the next page is I love this one with the, with the uh, peacock feathers I think it's gorgeous and what I used was the tickets as the hold for the card or uh, photo mount and again I've got the Generally, I've, I've left them plain 
because I, I really didn't want to, because the papers were so good on this, I, I really didn't want to go over the top with it. Um, this one I left blank and just put some black rickback around it to frame it. Uh, this one I made a little pocket on the front here. I tried to match the music up as best as I could and I put a little um, triple clef bling and I had some blingy card which I made for a photo or some journaling and that just slides in there. This one, um, I just uh, put glossy accents on the black keys to make it a bit more interesting and I haven't put anything on this one, I thought I'd leave this one pa uh, page blank uh, and the same with the next page because the paper is just so lovely. I really didn't want to do anything with it. Um, again, they've all got their um, tags for journaling or photos in the actual page. This one I left basically uh, plain, but I've got a little tuck here that I made that you could put the corner of a photo in or you could take the tag out and pop that in. If you wanted to, and then the last page again, I've left really, really plain. Just put a little cupid with a couple, and just put some twinkly edging down it. I really do adore these papers. These papers are just absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back, I use the. Um, stamp background and all I did just to add a little bit of interest is every other one I glossy accented to give it a little bit of interest and again made a bow hot glued it on the back with a ribbon and then to everything ties up sorry that's my bracelet <laughs> with a bow and that's my and call mini. Thank you for watching. Comments are very much appreciated. Um, I'll be back with another video shortly. Um, hope everybody's having a great day and don't forget guys keep on crafting.